let's come back to Beholder, one of the big names for the Breeders' Cup. And news yesterday, Caleb Keller went to her barn to check on after news had come out that she had spiked a little bit of a traveling fever. The connections were not concerned. They were making plans to come out this morning here at Keeneland. And that's where we start our eye on Beholder. You know, Todd, uh, they actually did make it out here to the racetrack today, pretty much exactly like they were planning on. And uh, once again, as we talked to Richard Mandela yesterday, there's really nothing to be concerned about with that fever. It's uh, something that pops up occasionally. But I will tell you this with Beholder. Yesterday, the advanced speed figures came out. You can go to thoroughgraph.com and take a look. I think there's, what, 224 pages uh, of thoroughgraph sheets that you can look at. Now, what I've heard from a lot of numbers players already is that Beholder only has that one number in the TVG Pacific Classic that could win that race. Now. We all know from being a numbers player that sometimes you do see that one race that looks like a bit of an aberration. Let's take this year's Florida Derby. Materiality gets 110 buyer, Upstart gets a 108, and you're thinking, ooh, really? I mean, that was a, <laughs> that was a slow time. I know the racetrack was dead, but it never felt like that number was going to be solidified, and it wasn't. So sometimes you do see a big number that you can't go back to. But in the case of Beholder, Gary Stevens has said so many times, very rarely are they even trying in these races against the Phillies and Mares in California in workouts. Sometimes Gary Stevens will work Beholder against the horse with a lot of promise, and they won't ask Beholder because they don't want to ruin the confidence of the other horse she's working with. So in this case, the 114 buy that she put up in the TVG Pacific Classic and the minus three that she put up there on the thoroughgraphs, that to me is solidified because this is a horse that has really won a lot of her races on, let's call it 75% or 80% of her talent and her courage. This is the last race of her career. As they say, uh, the uh, proverbial lemon will be squeezed the whole way. So I get it. I understand where the numbers players are coming from, saying that she's just got that one number. But to me, that one number is very true. The owner and Gary Stevens didn't win it. They romped in the Pacific Classic. Catch a flight second, then came Red Vine, Opportunity, Imperative behind that, then Hard Aces. Class leader, bailout Bobby, Bayern, and Midnight Storm was last. And there you go. I mean, 159 and three. Look, I get it. It's in California. It's probably a fast racetrack that day the sun was out. But you go under two minutes, I don't care where you're at. Sometimes the clock doesn't lie. So for me, when you do look at the thoroughgraph speed figures, you see basically a minus three there. And the rest are basically around the zero, minus one, somewhere in that area. So I am a believer in that race. You just saw it there for your own eyes. And I understand because when I'm looking at the numbers, sometimes I think a bad bet is a horse with only one big number to go at. But to me, this is an aberration. But it is a fair question. I mean, how can she keep just putting up sensational number after sensational number? I mean, you're talking about a horse in a special category who can do that for an extended amount of time. Mm -hmm. Well, when you look at her numbers, like Caleb makes a good point, but like, um, I don't know who said it, Macklemore? Everybody's got Bugattis. Uh, oh. It's like having a Bugatti in Beverly Hills, by the way. Yeah. Right. So, Macklemore. you know, I always wondered that, like, you, bro, you're bri driving 25 in a Bugatti. Yeah. You know, roll it out what's, somewhere what's where you can go 125. Exactly. That's Beholder for me. So I get exactly what Caleb is saying. You look at her numbers, they're average, and then she exploded in the TVG Pacific Classic because Gary Stevens let her run, or did he really? I mean, if you can be honestly honest about it, she got a negative three on the thoroughs, and if he really cut her loose, she could have got a negative four, maybe four and a half. So I'm with Caleb on this one. She could be any kind. I'm just hoping she's going to be okay. She gets her training in, and everything's on a level playing field. I'm pretty sure no other network covering the Breeders' Cup will reference Ben McElmore and Ryan Lewis. That's why the kids are flocking to the coverage on TVG.